Hey folks, this is Alex the eBay guy here at Beckley's RVs in Thurmont, Maryland. And here we have the Isada Touring Sedan. Built on a Ford chassis, V8 engine. This is a nice little budget touring sedan. For two people, you can go across country easily in this. Runs and drives great. It has some cosmetic issues, but I haven't found any mechanical issues with it yet. Uh, the biggest detractor to this one is, is that they spent the extra money when it was new and put the uh, diamond shield on the coach. And as most RVers know, that product just doesn't stand up to the test of time. And if you were to pay somebody to take the diamond shield off, it has to all be scraped off with a plastic razor blade. Uh, it takes about uh, two grand worth of labor to remove it. However, if you do it yourself, you save yourself two grand. Underneath that, the paint's fine. Now, there is some flecking of the clear coat here on some of the uh, extruded parts. The fiberglass, the, the, the paint on the fiberglass looks good. Got a little bit more diamond shield here on the back, just in that little lip. So if you remove the, the, the diamond shield, um, underneath this, this is a nice little coach. Uh, it's got brand new uh, rubber tires on it. 2019 day code, right at the end of last year. They're all in good shape. The leather in this is in fantastically good condition. All power options, by the way. Um, this is nice, soft, supple leather. And it's also um, got that Ford, the large Ford seat. So I'm 6'5". I fit in these seats fine, a lot better than the other seats where it hits your shoulder blade and forces your shoulders forward. Power seats. Power jacks. Though, something needs to be diagnosed with the power jacks because I wasn't able to get them to go down but the system comes on and registers as it should. I'm sure I'm missing a sequencing somewhere because all of these units are different with sequencing. No lights on on the dash and we've got low mileage. Um, for, for class B of this size to have only 25,700 miles is just uh, unheard of. Carpet's in good shape. Let's take a look inside the coach itself. On the outside, by the way, there is a carefree awning across the top, and it is a fiberglass roof. I'm gonna get you a shot of the roof here before we go inside. And we're gonna step into the coach. Now, for such a small, compact van, this has a lot of room in it, and a lot of that comes from this huge slide that it has. We've got uh, solid surface countertops. It's not Corian brand, but it, it doesn't have the label Corian, but it is the same thing as Corian. They've upgraded to flat screen televisions. It's got a backup camera. It's got a generator. I'm gonna go ahead and start the generator got 1522 hours on it that is a propane generator the driver's seat's also in just as good a shape now there is a mirror uh, the glass is here but the glue fell off of it um, and it's on the outside driver's side right there these are power mirrors too We have a direct TV system for, for Hughes, uh, satellite on the roof, DVD player, King Dome antenna, Bose built-in Bose stereo system. All the remotes are right here with the unit. We keep the remotes and the manuals and everything in the front office so they don't walk away. The hardwood cabinetry on this unit is just spectacular. Looks like a cherry wood. Uh, nice finishing on it, very good quality routing. On the 
sink for the kitchen sink. We've got a pull out faucet sprayer. That's a Delta faucet sprayer. As you know, Deltas have a lifetime warranty with them. For your convenience, you've got a spice rack right here. There's plenty of storage. Look at the pictures. I opened all the drawers and everything in the pictures. Two burner um, Atwood stove there. The carpet is in decent shape. It's got a little bit of a track line from people using it while the slide's closed, but, but not much at all. You can see a little bit of a difference there. We have a flex steel couch, and man, this thing is comfortable. Nice, soft, supple leather. Um, kept in really good condition. It is, of course, a sofa bed also. So if you do have somebody else that comes with you. And this slide has got to be at least 36 inches. I don't have a tape with me to measure it. But it just makes all the difference in the world with that slide out as to how much room you have in a Class B or Super B coach. It's always ambiguous as to whether it's a Class B or Class C when it doesn't have the sleeping area up above. I kind of go with if it's got a sleeping area, it's a Class, class C. Now we go back here, we've got a Dometic refrigerator with an ice maker. Now this unit just came in, so I just got everything turned on. I haven't had a chance to test the refrigerator yet. I'm going to leave this on and I'm going to write the review of the refrigerator in the ad. Over here we have a huge armoire with plenty of space to store stuff. You've got your electrical components and furnace down below. I've got another picture of the weight chart, but you can either pause this or look in the pictures and there's weight charts in there. Over here we have the sink with lots of light, nice hand towels, all wood around or surround, beautiful faucet, sink, your convenience panel right here, all your buttons are right here that you need along with your air conditioning control. For a small van, this has a lot of room in this shower. This is a porcelain toilet. you got a window to let some light in. You've also got a privacy shade. you got a fantastic fan. You've got a sunlight that's, that does not have any size of leaks around the outside of it. I'm 6'5". I fit in this very easy. This is a one-piece molded fiberglass shower. It's got plenty of room. If you're taller, if you're larger, it doesn't matter. There's plenty of room in here. And a nice layout for the um, for the faucets. Now, one modification that the previous owners made, they found that the window valances on the windows cut down on the amount of room that you have when you're in bed. This is a full-size bed with a corner cut. So, in order to get more room, they took the valances off the windows. They kept them. They're right here if you want to put them back up. And they put curtain rods with curtains set in the windows so you can set books or uh, telephones or whatever you want there on the window ledge and the windows are, are perfectly perfectly fine you can just use it the way it is or if you want to put those balances back you can I see their point as to why they took them off though that's very uh, very thoughtful um, up here we've got um, more cherry cabinets storage here you will want to replace the smoke detector it was outdated so it was thrown away your power cabinets right down there so all in all, this is a nice little coach if you wanted to go traveling across country in it. The only condition issue on the inside I did see is at one time there was a, a small leak right there at the very edge causing some discoloring. As you step back, you barely even really notice it's there. So if this is a coach that would work for you, this season with RVs, things are going fast with uh, everybody locked home with COVID. And I guess we just run out of propane. All right, well, I guess the video is over. So uh, any questions, call Alex eBay guy 240-405-7790.